Hello, good evening. Welcome to Shura, the Lekutim Aran Shir, Torah Haftes 29. That's uh, predicated on the dialogue between uh, the, the sages of Athens and um, and uh, Abishuram and Hananiah. And this time they said that man that wanted uh, a woman, wanted to marry a woman, uh, to be matched with a woman, and they wouldn't give that woman to him because supposedly uh, he wasn't, uh, you know, on, on a high enough stature. You <laughs> <laughs> yeah. wasn't a high enough stature and uh, so this is what business does he have to request a woman that is of a higher yichus than the original one but they said listen so he take he took a he took a pin and he put his hand down on the wall and he tried to put it in and the pin wouldn't go in because there was no hole in the wall then he lifted his hand up and he put it on top and on top, there was a hole. So he put the pin in. He says, uh, he says, that's, you know, this is meant to be, and this is not meant to be. Uh, this is, this is, they gave me that, that, that muzzle. That's that. The first one wasn't his muzzle. They said, maybe the next one, even though she's more, 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 uh, um, more pedigreed, as it were, than the first one, uh, maybe that's the one meant for him. So Rabbeinu said that not every Dibur is called a Dibur. A Dibur that has no goodness in it is not called a Dibur. You open up a newspaper from two weeks ago, uh, there's zero interest in what's written in there. Zero. In fact, newspaper from yesterday, from two days ago, zero. Why the newspaper from today is very interesting and the newspaper from yesterday is not interesting? You don't know why everything happened yesterday. Because the point is that all the Diburim in the newspapers don't mean anything. The zero, they're not interesting. The only thing that, the only reason why people have a craving for that, because people have a craving for Chiddush, for, you know, for 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 stimulation. Uh, so so it stimulates them to something else, something new, something a Chiddush. So Rabbeinu says that all these Diburim as if they have never spoken. It's, it's not even heard. The next day, it's 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 not It's not relevant. It's irrelevant. I said, but when you put, you take the diburim from the das, and there's good in the das, so the diburim are infused with goodness. Everybody wants goodness. When you offer somebody some something good, you know that they need, that they feel the need for it. You know they yearn for it. So uh, a dibur that is that is uh, impregnated with goodness is is heard. So how do you do that? How do you insert goodness into the dibur? You have to elevate the das. You have to go from a constricted consciousness to expanded consciousness. And the way to do it is by shavach tzadikim. You praise the tzadikim. When you praise the tzaddikim, the, the same thing, you know, when you dive into a Kaddish Baruch Hu, you praise the Kaddish Baruch Hu, you are praising tzaddik shel oilam. When you are praising tzaddik shel oilam, you are creating a moichin, where Kaddish Baruch Hu is present. And therefore, everything you ask afterwards can fill it in. You're, you're, as if you're, you're creating a place for Kaddish Baruch Hu in this world. With the Sheva of a Kaddish Baruch Hu. You elevate your das. You have a das. You have a das. You, then you are a receptacle to receive. The same thing is with the tzaddikim. He says knei chochma, knei bino, and so forth and so on. So since we explained that through shavach tzaddikim, you know the the koyach of the tzaddikim is this oyer. It's not just you know you speak about them. It's not the words for you. The koyach of the tzaddik when you speak about him works on you and expands your mental faculties. The das is elevated, and you get you get you get you get you get das the pchinas dibur. Then there's goodness in the dibur. Once there's goodness in the dibur, there was nishma and kavod. Then the dibur is being accepted. Now we we started to start to talk about this Indian that 
the Dibor with the Samalchus, as we know, you know, and the Tikkun of the Dibor, the rectification of the Dibor, is the rectification of, 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 of the Malchus. And as we go through this teaching, there are different kind of facets of rectifying and fixing, completing the Malchus, perfecting the Malchus. This is this is white garments. And we said we explained at great length last week, you know, what is the meaning of white garment? We said that the Mulchin in the very beginning need need to, to include all the possible variants, all the various colors. And we said the white, the white light contains all the colors. And on the other hand, you have to have uh, um, a white screen. And a white screen is something that contains all the colors in form of potential. In other words, if you if you screen on it, if you project on it, all the colors, it is it 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 is able to give expression to all the colors, you know, which are projected on it. So it's a white, it's a white that isn't. I mean, take a, a, a blank screen that you project a movie on. What's on the screen? There's nothing. There's white. But the white means that it allows every single color to be expressed on it. So it includes the colors by not being there at all. It's a very deep concept. So we're talking about the Bgodim. The Bgodim needs to be need to be guarded, they have to be white. They have to be something that that can give expression to every single color is governing and law in the Kodesh projects on you. A person has to be very careful to, to guard the Bgodim, not not to not to demean the Bgodim. To make sure that the garments are not blemished. And call me the greater person is, the more careful he has to be with his garments. Because anybody who is greater, there's more at stake. There's more at stake, you know, than then Mishamaim, the more medakdek on him. That's what Chazal said, Tamit Chochem, Shanim Tzerevobal Bigdoi, Tamit Chochem, that that there was found, you know, that, that the stain was found on his, an oily stain was found on his clothes, Chayv Misa. Because with him, you know, it is that they're checking with him more because he's he's already inside the palace. You know, there's much more that is at stake there. The garments themselves, the garments themselves judge him. That's the judgment of the Malchus. The Dina Malchus, Kisfir Samalchus, is the Midas Adin. And from there, all the dinim and the and the punishments come to a person. And uh, we also learning this, you know, with Sipurim Isis on Monday, when we said that that the the Baal Tfila said that the Melech had a yad, had a hand, and on the hand was written all the different things that that were, that are, and are going to be, and so forth and so on, and. Because the Malchus have two aspects to it. On one hand, it has all the dinim, it has all the judgments, it has all the all the verdicts. It says, this is the police force. On the other hand, it has the Shekhinah. So both things need, need, need to be. So the, the Malchus is in itself, if the Malchus is clean, if the Malchus is white, if the Malchus is the way it's supposed to be, then the Shekhinah is there. But when this problem there, it is me'oira, it, it is awakening the bechina of, of dinam, of judgments. It's a danger zone. Dafka there. It says, Kiab Godim, there's a Kiab Godim, and Prinas Machos, the clothing themselves are the Prinas, the Sphere Samachos. Kerev Yochan Karol, a man in Chadusi, Rev Yochan called his garments. The one that, that that honors me, that respect, you know, that gives me, makes me honorable. People see I'm wearing, you know, strebisher garb, whatever it is. It gives me COVID. You can see that, in fact, the COVID in the world is always in the garments. And and the lower the people are, the less garments they wear. You see, 
the you know the the king of England, the queen of England, whatever it is, you're in the coronation. They're wearing I don't know how many different kind of chachkas on them, and this and a coat and a this and a hat and a bus and a boot and a crown and a, and a cap and a this and a that and more and more and more and more and more. You know, people in the army, you know, the generals and the admirals, they're all wearing this and appulets and, and all kinds of frills and this and that and medals and blah, 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 until they're all, yeah. the more mechubatic, the more garments they are. The people of, the you know, the, the descendants of, of, of Ham in, in Africa, they're walking chasuf eshes, they're, they're walking naked because it is the, the lowest of the low. You know, the same thing, this is what's happening, you know, in society. When people are very, very low, what you're looking at is, you know, they'll, you know, the, the the lower they are, the less garments they have on them. Even by them, the Kovad Amiti is when they're dressed. You know, when the, the uh, this is when the Kovad, I'm not talking about the, when they want to show off, you know, the Met Gala or whatever it is. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the, the coronation of the, the King of England or, you know, one of those things. Then they all, all of a sudden, you see, everybody's faputs and is wearing clothes upon clothes upon clothes. They've got them themselves, Aprinus Kovet, the Kovet, the brother. She's Aprinus Malchus, as I said, Melech HaKovet. As well as Melech HaKovet, because the Malchus and Kovet are one thing. The Kovet is Malchus. And the Bgodim are the Kovet of a person. They are Aprinus Malchus. Zeprinus Tzedek, Malchus HaKadisho, the sphere of Malchus, uh, the, the holy Malchus is called Tzedek, when, when it judges, you know, according to the law, to the letter of the law, without any, 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 uh, 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 no leeway, no Rachmanus. That's the law, that's the letter of the law. This is what's called Tzedek. The idea is that he's supposed to you're supposed to, to, to enlarge the malchus and turn it from tzedek. When you connect it to emes, it be, from tzedek becomes tzedek. Tzedek is the opposite of midas I mean, tzedek means, yes, tzedek, you have to give somebody who deserves tzedek, but still, tzedek is not something which is deserved. Tzedek is, yeah, you have to meet a certain criteria, as the, as the Dushna says. Anybody that has, you know, 200 uh, uh, zuzim a year, you know, shouldn't take from from the communal stock uh, fund, and anybody that has a working 50, 50 zuzim, but he's working with them as a business, is you know, is selling, is buying, you know, you know, if he has that, he. So yes, there is a minimum, you know, that if you have less, you know, if you have that, then you you are eligible for stock. But the point is that stock is something which is given. This is berachvos. It's not alpimi desadim. There's some deen in it. There's certain kind of criteria in it, but it's beyond. This is when the Shekhinah comes in. This is, you have to introduce the hey from Tzedek to Tzedakah. This is what it said. And the Zohar says, you know, uh, that that uh, that um, Hainu Tzedek, Hainu Emuna. He says, Vaya Tzedek Ezo Moisnov. It says about Mashiach. And the Tzedek will be the, 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 the girl of 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 his of his loins, the muna zochalasa and muna is going to be. I'm sorry, the, the tzedek is on my snuff is going to be his belt. The muna zochalasa that's going to be his, uh, you know, the, the 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 thing is going to wear around his his loin area. So so the zayas says, I'm not high not tzedek, I'm not muna. Tzedek and muna are one the same thing. They're both pinas malchus. Muna is malchus and tzedek is malchus. So the zayas says, yeah, you take tzedek. You put the emes, you connect it with the emes, it becomes a muna. They have a court system over here. It has nothing, to, almost nothing to do with emes. Most of the time, it's it's filish tickets and this and that, and opinion is this and that. But when you take tzedek and you put the emes in it, the real emes in it, it becomes a muna. It is from tzedek becomes tzedakah. So tzedek malchus hakadisho. This is, this is the garments, it's tzedek. In other words, this is judgments, al pi din. The what is the garment? It's tzedek. I'm wearing tzedek. And the one who demeans the, the garments, 
Nimsa Shukumer the Machas. He's like being, he's being a, he's being a, 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 a rebel, rebelling against the Machas. Vas Dina de Malchusa, the Din, which is intrinsic in the Malchus, it's built into the Malchus. Dano is it judges him. Al and when a person when a person is in a place where he's being judged by the machas, a sudden separation is taking place. He's doing a separation between Kuchabrichu and Shinte. What happens is that the Kuchabrichu, which is the Zerampin, becomes separate, is separated from the Malchus, from the Shinte. Between nine spheres above. And Sphiris Malchus, which is the lowest. Which means the Shekhinah is the light of a Kodesh Baruch Hu, that the way that it, in, that it exists in this world. That's why it's called Shekhinah. It resides here. When, when there's a period between them, the Shekhinah cannot receive the Shefa from the Sphiris above it, and therefore it cannot bestow it on this world. The denochosh, the snake, bites, bites the malchus. And it it poisons, it 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 makes the malchus toxic. When the denochosh, which is the samach mem, which is the tumor, bites the spheres of malchus, it poisons it. In other words, all the sins that are in transgressions in the world allows the Samech Men, Zitra Achra, have Koyach, you know, to siphon off, you know, to, to leech from the Malchus. And with that, with that, it, 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 it puts poison in it. In other words, then, what happens when the tumor is noigea to a bechin of Isha? She becomes nida. That is what appears is, is dam nida. And what does it mean, dam nida? Why are your garments red? In other words, the opposite of white. White garments is kedusha. It's pure. It's tahar. Then all the all the lakus can be. Can be expressed in this world. What happens? What is the thing that creates a separation between the husband and the wife, between the the kuchaber chote between the zera anpin and the malchus? Apchinas nida. The very same way that in a couple, the wife is nida, and therefore she is separated from her husband until she stops being nida until she becomes pure. The same thing as the shechina, when the shechina is being separated. From Kuchabrihu, it is considered as if it has Dam Nino, Madua Odom Nil Vushera. The Shechina is the which is the garment becomes Odom, becomes red. In other words, it has instead of white, in other words, it has a Bechina of Dam Nido. Um, so, so, the Zeb Hina Sakeseva, the Vashinka Big Doy. When a person has uh, um, his clothing are soiled or are stained, shall malchus that separates the prinas malchus from that separates the shchina from the kodesh baruch hu. The as that word says shal gishag kodesh baruch hu roars over his household. We know that a person's household is his wife. Beisoi zer ishtoi, the house of a person is his wife, and the Kodesh Baruch is roaring over his house. Who is his house? Is his wife? It's a shechina. I'll never delay. It's the machus. Never buy from Kodesh Baruch Hu. Kodesh Baruch Hu roaring the what? The shechina, which is the machus, is separated from him and went in goes. What happens then? That's the time. I mean, if one woman is not there, another one is there. And the one who this is this is the the the, the vile maiden servant. 
the Machas Sitra Achas who connects Tefillas and Machas Dagdusha. That's the opposite. If Chinas Shivcha Kitiras Gvirta, Mishnah Mishnah said it says the worst things that I have seen, the worst thing that can be is Eved Kiimloch, a slave that becomes a king, the Shivcha Kitiras Gvirta, and a maiden servant that inherits her mistress. The Machas Sitra Achra was a Shivcha. Is Yashin's the Machus the Gdusha, which is the Gvira. Was it Racha? He Isha Ra is a bad woman. And that's Esra, a bad ton. Isha Ra is Esra. Rabbeinu says as follows: Yesh Kafches Itim. There are twenty-eight times. Kohelas, you know, time to build, a time to 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 destroy. A time to plant, a time to to yank out, a time to this, a pound to love, a pound to you know to hate. You know, twenty eight times that in Kahelas it brings down everything has a time. So twenty eight itim, fourteen of them are for good, fourteen of them are for bad. The itim, the good times, the good chance of time, they are inferring of the machos the kedusha. And it's called Es Toiva. It's a good time. It's a propitious time. It's an auspicious time. The Itim Ra and the time where the Itim are not auspicious, they infer a Malchus the Sitra Now, this is the same principle that we meet all along the way. What you need to do is you need to stamp down to be machnia, the, the bad woman, the bad shifra, she esra, which is a bad time, a time, you know, in in, in, in auspicious time, I'm sorry. Bifchines bechol, you know, you have to be machnia it, and to put on top, the machus de kedusha, she be she bifchines bechol es, at all time, your garment should be white. Yub gadech lebam. You should make sure that the whole S, all the 28 times, the dominion will be to the eating Latoiva, to the white garments. When a person wants to be Machnia Desro and he wants to be Chino Es Toivo, how, how is this done? How do you do it? How do you defeat the Machus, the Sitra Acha, and, and subjugate it under? The Malchus de Kedusha, that is done through Bugadecha Levonim. Your garments are white. In other words, you have to insert whiteness into the picture. Hainu Beloravav without any kind of blemish. Because the Malchus is the garment. And when the garments are clean, Hainu Pchina stars a Shechino Medidoso. That means that the Shechino is purified from its neither. It's a process when the blood, when a woman, you know, when she gets impregnated and, and she's pregnant, she's ready to, you know, to, uh, you know, to, when she gets ready to give birth, what happens to the blood? You know, it's a normal thing that a woman sees blood. You know, the dam After a woman, a woman gives birth, the, the dam of nido is being converted. It thickens and it becomes milk in order to feed the baby. Then the woman doesn't have his like She's not, she doesn't have any tumadika blood. She's a cheska that she's tar. The same thing applies beruchnis by the shechin. When a person guards the cleanliness of his clothes, he is causing the that Indian that was by the Shekhinah, Dam Nida, that, the, that was by, by the Shekhinah, will be cancelled out and will become Lovam. It will be a Yichud of Kutsam Yichud Shekhinah. It will be a unification of the Shekhinah and the Kodesh Baruch I mean, we will, we will, you know, from the text we'll stop here, but the main thing that we're talking about here, remember, the 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 Shechina is the Dibor. We're supposed to have a Dibor, a speech which has goodness in it. 
that goodness in the Dibur that comes through Shavach HaTzadikim, that, that Bechino is the thing that needs to be injected into the Mahas on a constant basis. That's why it is so important not only what we speak to others, and obviously the way that we daven, but the way that we speak to ourselves. There is an Indian of Shevach HaTzadikim that is Nagia when you speak to yourself. A person has a natural tendency, uh, I mean, I mean, it's, 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 it's like a pervading compulsion to put himself down. I don't care if he makes himself, I don't know, who knows what. To put himself down, you know, I'm, I'm not what I'm supposed to be, I'm not close to what I'm supposed to be, I never will be what I'm supposed to be, and so forth and so on. Especially when a person, when a person is 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 actually falling in things that he should not do. It could be on any level. Each person, according to where he's holding, could be could be on on the deed levels, doing things that the person doesn't needs not to do, or or speaking things that person needs not to speak, or in a way a person needs not to speak, or thoughts that a person needs not to think, not to allow, you know, uh, 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 immoral thoughts into his head. And it's a very slippery slope. You know, before you know it, it's there, you're gone. So, on one hand, on one hand, there is, you come to Kodesh Baruch and you're supposed to tell him, you're supposed to talk to him. And it's difficult. It's difficult because what am I going to tell him? I'm okay. That's okay. What I'm doing is okay. On the other hand, on the other hand, there is another aspect that I need to know that I'm okay, even though I'm not okay. I don't know if you ever tried talking to Kodesh Baruch Hu about it. It's 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 like a it's like a a, a, a Gordian knot. How can I say to Kodesh Baruch Hu, I'm okay? I know I'm not, but nevertheless, unless you know that you are okay, you really will not be okay. That's what Abeno said that that the first thing that you need to do is you need to find. You need to find a uh, 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 dibur, a dibur de kedusha, a nekuda toiva. I put on film today. I daven, I daven shachris min chamarif today. I learned a little Torah today. I learned a halacha today, and to understand it's not my life is a real life. I don't know what it is that I needed to do, what I didn't need to do. What is done is done, it's over. And it drags me down, it brings me down. There is a need. A person needs to dive for this. For me to know that I'm okay, that I'm good. I'm definitely good. This, this is the deeper of Sheva Chatzadik in a person need to say to himself. The 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 bad maiden sir. What are you talking about, bad? Look at what you did. Look what you looked at. Look what you spoke. Look what what you thought. How how dare you? But you're right. Nevertheless, I'm good. If I'm not doing this, if I don't know that I'm good, the das becomes constricted. This is called dam nida. You're supposed to elevate the das. It's supposed to be expanded consciousness. The mind needs to be free. So, so wait a minute. Uh, am I good or am I not good? So, is it okay that I'm doing the things that I shouldn't be doing? 
uh, well, obviously it's not. So how can I be good if I'm doing things that are not good? There are no explanations to it. Rabbeinu says you take a nekuda, nekuda teva, I put on film. The film is a Kodesh himself. It's 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 one of the, the most wondrous things I would recommend to anybody to take a look at the words of the Balatani. The Balatani, when he describes putting on film, he, put, he describes doing mitzvahs, whatever. I I don't know any other uh, uh, Baal Loshan like the Balatani, that when you read his Loshan, things become so vivid, so vivid. It's like, wow. It hits you like a, a bam, like a, you know, a, a firecracker explode in front of your eyes. The Balatani has a way of saying things that are so impactful. When he says about a person doing an Avera, Balatani says it's like taking the king by the, you know, by the, by the hair, and 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 taking his head down and and dipping the king's head in a pile of feces. Ugh! What a description! And kalachomet varim toivim din of tfil din of tzitzis din of whatever it is. I'm not talking about the you know the 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 deep chasidus that he teaches. The bevada where is a moich moich for this? Is in the height bevada. The varim kedoshim leyni meoid. But the simple things that he talks about doing mitzvahs, about, about putting on tzitzis, about doing simple mitzvahs, about learning Torah, gevald shabbat, gevald shabbat, gevald. There's never, never anything even close to this. So, Barat Hashem, Kedish Baruch Hu should help us that we'll all be zechet to be melamed kaf schos on ourselves. Barat Hashem should always, always, always be meroim in the das of Rabbeinu Bevadai, all the Sadiqim Bevadai, but also me. Because if I am not elevating the, the, the Machos, which is me, it, I'm not able to be able to inject Tov to the Dibur. I'm just going to go around despondent and I'll never get out of it. I'll always be separate Kodesh Baruch Hu, like the Isha Nido is separated from her husband. It will never happen. Hashem should help us with that Hashem. To be done ourselves, the Kaf's Chos. And Tanakh Kodesh Baruch wants us the way we are. And it's not just because, you know, he's 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 collecting Nebuchadnezzar all over, you know, uh, because he doesn't care. He cares. He knows who you are. He knows who I am. He knows what we're really worth. We don't know what we're worth. Kodesh Baruch knows. The Tzaddik knows. If we were to know, there'll be no Bechir anymore. We'll run to Kodesh Baruch like lions. So, Rabbi Hashem will be mischazek with Milam and Tzchus and the Kudus Tevis on ourselves. At Hashem, we'll finish now with Hashem tomorrow. We'll be in the Bresa of Bismedrash, learning Torah Samech. Call Tov to everyone. Be